Our population is growing fast. Urban areas are expanding faster than we can keep up. We are putting more demands on our water all the time. The more we produce, manufacture, consume and throw away, the more water we use. How can we recycle and reuse water to keep up with our growing needs? Chemical treatment of water has been around for a long time. It's reliable, it's safe and it's cost effective. It's really basic, really common process. The same process happens in nature. We just accelerate it in the treatment plants. The chemical treatment process is the best way to make sure all our wastewater is cleaned and can be reused. The solid matter is separated from the wastewater and it doesn't go to waste either. I have got wastewater here. You don't want this going straight back into nature, so I will treat it. What I'm going to do is to add little amount of uh, coagulants. The coagulants will neutralize the negative charges and the particles start to stick together. We're going to mix in some flocculants. These are basically collectors. They're going to bind the tiny flocks together and form big flocks. The solid matter is separated from the waste water. Meanwhile, all the water we've captured from the process is cleaned. The water can re-enter the cycle. It can be reused in manufacture, reused for washing, cleaning, drinking, and sent back to waterways. The water is born again. Energy from wastewater is sustainable and renewable. Actually, there's an endless supply of it. The solids can be converted into energy, heat, electricity, and even biogas to drive your car. This is one of the ways we can make cleaner, more sustainable environment for the generations to come.